What is up, YouTube? I'm here showing you my uh, maxed out current demolisher uh, loadout. You can see him hanging out right there, kind of threw on a little helmet on him, and then he's got some of the elite um, demolisher outfit right there. Um, consumables, we're just going to worry about that a little bit later for another uh, clip, but this is just to kind of show you some of the perks with him and um, or this class, and then. Uh, will show you the overview with the abilities so I use the uh, burst rifle that's the hardest one that I have currently um, combat rating is 120 the accuracy of course pretty up there and its ability is pretty solid too hard hitting to, to a degree um, especially for the focus fire on the big guys Vulcan um, smart gun is fun as well if you want to switch over to that a lot of people do that mine's just maxed out currently you can see the accuracy at 99 so it's it's ridiculous i mean if you just point in the general direction it's going to hit them um combat rating is a little bit higher but this thing is maxed out the vulcan is not yet it's literally at two um and i still got a ways to go so i mean that thing's going to hit harder so right now i'm kind of leveling up the vulcan and i'm enjoying that um smart gun is easier for the intense maps that when you play on that difficulty you can have you can deal damage to your teammates so to run this monstrosity the Vulcan is not really recommended because you will burn them up quite easily um, other than that it's really fun to use especially the throwback to the movie so I've kind of switched to that from the smart gun just because my other one is uh, the smart gun is maxed out blast wave is awesome it is an AOE type of deal, but it also, everyone caught in it, not only will they get knocked back with a concussive blast, but it also increases your damage, so that's really cool. And there's a little meter on the side um, with clear the room for that. So the blast wave radius is increased with one of them. Um, I think that's the one I have up here. And then the other ones, they all have to connect as well, so you can see that's the kind of the gimmick you got to run to fit everything. Um, I went with a lot of recharges on this because this increases my damage So if I can pop this more often then I can get more damage from clear the room um, So I use the recharge here retar recharge there and then as well this one um, Is a base with just that 10, but I mean everyone that's hit by it in increases so That's really gonna help if you get in a large group. I've seen it come back instantaneously like I thought it was busted before um, so that pretty useful, and um, that is these four, or what I have attached to Blast Wave, okay? Over here is the Micro Rockets, and these are pretty sweet. It just looks like a little Predator uh, deal on your shoulder that shoots out. So you have the Napalm Rockets, the Fire Rockets are attached to that. Um, we have increased the attached ability. That's going to um, do the damage increase, loud and clear. And then, of course, um, we do have something that basically uh, causes a little bit more um, of, like, an area over them with the fire. Um, so that's kind of helpful. And this is the only one that I might actually switch out, causing them to take 25% more damage. And then it gives them bleed as well. Uh, it's just the damage thing is... is is good but then i have to use the other ability so i do have it back in eight seconds um usually following that but it's just i don't know that might be one increased damage definitely need to have so I have two overall increased damages um so that is pretty good as my hard hitting thing for the big guys and then um this thing just comes back as much as it can that way i can get a little bit extra damage with clear the room i'm gonna show you the meter um, once we start actually within the gameplay it is not recommended we're gonna run the last level of course not recommended to run it with the bots um, you can see on intense it even says synthetic teammates are not recommended at the bottom so we will not do that so it's just me and uh, we'll go with that we're keeping it in a private um, enable challenge cards and just in case somebody else wanted to use them that's all right so we're going with the normal mode, and we'll launch it. The Xenos took out the entire Blue Fire team. And Their mission falls to us. Work, so You're going into the heart of the hive to rig the refinery for detonation. That will take out the Xeno Queen, her no entire target. brood, and you if you don't move fast. Just to show you guys what's up. The Hive.
So cool thing is we can bust all those um, You're gonna put eggs up with the blast wave and then we can get that increase in damage. You need to do that ah, from process know. control. It's, it's at the base of Likasi's core. Nope. Oh, shit. Straight up run away. Listen. It only gets worse from here. Don't forget to watch for eggs. Well, how the walls look at the well. Really captured the hive. Look excellent. Okay, so we're gonna pop these, and then immediately let the 17.5% damage go. Nah, they just close them. Caught in that little puddle. Gotta get back here, Enough. Not terrible. Right, let me take that uh, damage anyway. I got these guys. Incendiaries. Not helpful. Oh shit. Not helpful. This. Damage buff. Let's get out of here. Asking for facehuggers to just creep up on you hanging around here. Console's busted. New plan. You cut through the door. Swarm inbound. Hold up on the door. Yeah, 
I'll deal with that. Gotta cut it myself. that
to go down there. Let's nuke this barge. Right back to this. Hold at the core for briefing. And have the queen chase me. Haven't seen Kukuma since. This is why we hunt Xenos. Remember that. Some of Talking those about are that. recent. That's right. Wayland Yutani crew. Yikes. Yikes. different waves is basically what she's telling me. No one else dies to this hive. No See one else it. dies. Vaya con Dios, kids. Make me proud. You heard the lighting. Thought that catwalk nice. looked unstable? You'll egress by a different route. Eight kids here. I am analyzing the control systems. Stand by. Nice. That's good stuff. Really Please, nice disable the safety limiters on the Kasi Corps' auger. Sentry deployed. Got three of those. Each wave, pretty much. And what I like to do is just drop one by it as I get the fence. So that when they come, because they're gonna just run in and try and wreck that actual turret, um, that thing will freeze them up. So it's pretty good. Okay, here you go. Activate this thing. Bring the dinner bell.
eat those turrets. Is that one turn around? This we just run out of here. Go back to hell. Right the spot. Oh, 
help. Oh, my. Pass it up. Oof, That's what kind of sucks. You don't really fight. He just kind of chases you. You know. Go, go. Pick up the pace. Come oh. on. Little oh, fun little action. Get out of here. Oh boy, I don't want that. That was nice, that was a hidden cache. I found it at the end. Oh my god, dude. I just thought that was the ammo. <laughs> I thought that was this. And this is the end, anyway. <laughs> in, short party. And that's it. To well, there you have it, y'all. Even got the old hidden <laughs> box, hidden cache at the end. Um, Let's see how we did. We did get the Vulcan up a little bit. We're already maxed out on the rest. And, yep, solid carry to the bots. 346 kills. Uh, no headshots because we were running the flame, of course. Not too much damage taken. They just don't roll. Damage dealt. Oh, almost a clean mill with the bots at the 190s. <laughs> Not bad. 22 minutes, not too shabby. We could have fought the queen a little bit, maybe, but uh, again, that's just not really the point, and she doesn't take any damage. So I'll have to make some cool TikToks and pretend that it actually happens. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Extra Aliens Fireteam Elite content coming y'all's way. Hope y'all enjoy. Peace.